Hi guys, it's Alice and today it's time for the second part of my bookshelf tour and today I'm going to show you all the books on this shelf here. Alright, so on this shelf I keep a lot of my classic books, then some of my fiction and non-fiction books and at the bottom I have some of my fantasy books. To be completely honest, I don't really organize my books that much. I keep the same editions together, but it has a tendency to get kind of messy at the bottom because when you close the doors on these shelves, you can't see the bottom. So it has a tendency to get a little bit messy. Anyway, so we're gonna start at the top. And first we have some of the Rhodes classics. And the first one is Gulliver's Travels by Jonathan Swift. The second one is Heart of Darkness by Joseph Conrad. Then we've got Notes from the Underground by Fyodor Dostoevsky. Dracula by Bram Stoker. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Journey to the Center of the Earth by Jules Verne. And What is Art by Leo Tolstoy. Next we've got some of these The Art of the Novella books. We've got The Devil by Leo Tolstoy. Mayday by F. Scott Fitzgerald, Matilda by Mary Shelley, The Eternal Husband by Fyodor Dostoevsky, The Enchanted Wanderer by Nikolai Leskov, Oronoko by Afra Ben, and The Diamond as Big as the Ritz, also by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Then we've got two of these penguin books, and the first one is I Can Jump Puddles by Alan Marshall, and the second one is The Harp in the South by Ruth Park. Next to that we've got some of these Amazing Penguin Orange editions, and the first one is One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest by Ken Casey. The second one is Ceremony by Leslie Marmon Silko. Then we've got The Snow Leopard by Peter Matheson. The Crucible by Arthur Miller, and I just gotta say I love the little penguin in the pot on this one. The Joy Luck Club by Amy Tan. East of Eden by John Steinbeck. Twelve Years a Slave by Solomon Northup. And then lastly we have We Have Always Lived in the Castle by Shirley Jackson. Then next to that we've got a stack of some more penguin books, but first at the top we've got Dear Ijabele or A Feminist Manifesto in 15 Suggestions by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. Then we've got 1984 by George Orwell. Then we've got The Malay Archipelago by Alfred Russell Wallace. The House of Eloa by Emilia Perdot Bassam. The Betrothed by Alessandro Manzoni. A Parisian Affair by Guy de Maupassant. The Notebooks of Malta Lawrence Brig by Rainer Maria Rilke, The Cossacks and Haji Muro by Leo Tolstoy, and then lastly we have Out of Africa by Karen Blixen. Lastly on this shelf we've got four books by my favorite author, Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, all of which I would highly recommend. So we've got Half of a Yellow Sun, Americana, Purple Hibiscus, and The Thing Around Your Neck. On the second shelf we've got all of my Everyman's Pocket Poet editions, then we've got some crime classics from British Library, and then some short stories also from Everyman's Library. We're gonna start with the poetry books, so we've got Russian Poets, Haiku, Poems of New York, Poems of the Sea, Poems by Frost, Arabic Poems, Poems by Shelley, Poems of Morning, Poems by Lord Byron, Zen Poems, Christmas Poems, Poems Bewitched and Haunted, Poems by William Blake, Persian Poets, Poems by Plath, Poems of Solitude, Garden Poems, and Scottish Poems. First of the British Library classics, we have A Scream in Soho by John G. Brandon. Then we've got Antidote to Venom by Freeman Wills Crafts, Murder Underground by Mavis Doriel Hay, the Female Detective by Andrew Forrester, Murder in Piccadilly by Charles Kingston, The Lake District Murder by John Butte, Silent Night Christmas Mysteries edited by Martin Edwards, and then we have The Cornish Coast Murder also by John Butte. Then in the lovely Everyman's Pocket Classics we have Bedtime Stories, London Stories, Christmas Stories, Stories of Art and Artists, New York Stories, Ghost Stories, Stories of the Sea, and lastly, Detective Stories. On the third shelf I have all of my lovely Persephone books, and then I've got the Birds and the Bees collection by Vintage, and then all of Jane Austen's novels, also by Vintage. By Persephone books we have Little Boy Lost by Margarita Lasky, London War Notes by Molly Patrick Downs, The Far Cry by Emma Smith, 
Tea with Mr. Rochester by Frances Towers, The Mystery of Mrs. Blencarrow by Mrs. Oliphant, Amours de Voyage by Arthur Hugh Clow, The Victorian Shea Long by Marguerite Lasky, Miss Pettigrew Lives for a Day by Winifred Watson, The Persephone Book of Short Stories, Miss Ranskill Comes Home by Barbara Euphen Todd, Green Banks by Dorothy Whipple, Lady Rose and Mrs. Memory by Ruby Ferguson, Dimanche and Other Stories by Irene Nemirovsky, Young Anne by Dorothy Whipple, High Wages also by Dorothy Whipple, Mariana by Monica Dickens, The Making of a Marchioness by Frances Hodgins Burnett, Someone at a Distance by Dorothy Whipple again, Saplings by Noel Streetfield, and then lastly we have Cheerful Weather for the Wedding by Julia Strache. Then in the Birds and the Bees collection we have The Running Sky by Tim D, Crow Country by Mark Cocker, a Sting in the Tale by Dave Goulson, Bee Journal by Sean Borrowdale, and then Ages for Hawk by Helen MacDonald. Then by Jane Austen, as I'm sure you're aware, we have Sense and Sensibility, Mansfield Park, Northanger Abbey, Persuasion, Pride and Prejudice, which is my favorite, and Emma. On the next shelf we've got some white and green books, and then we have some Penguin Clothbound classics, my books by Vladimir Nabokov, and all of these VMC designer editions. Starting from the left, we have The Palace of Curiosities by Rosie Garland, Life After Life by Kate Atkinson, Sufficient Grace by Amy Espseth, Everyday Sexism by Laura Bates, A Concise Chinese-English Dictionary for Lovers by Shia LaGua, Cloud Street by Tim Winton, South Riding, The Land of Green Ginger, and Poor Caroline, all by Winifred Holtby. The rest of this shelf are all classics, and we've got I Die For You and Other Lost Stories by F. Scott Fitzgerald, War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy, The Travels by Marco Polo, Great Expectations by Charles Dickens, Pale Fire, Collected Poems, and Lolita, all by Vladimir Nabokov, Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier, Good Behavior by Molly Keane, Excellent Women by Barbara Pym, Frenchman's Creek by Daphne du Maurier, Jamaica Inn, also by Daphne du Maurier, A View of the Harbor by Elizabeth Taylor, The Diary of a Provincial Lady by E. M. Delafield, The Magic Toy Shop by Angela Carter, The Tortoise and the Hare by Elizabeth Jenkins, and lastly, Angel by Elizabeth Taylor. On the shelf below that, I've basically just got a random selection of books. The first thing I've got on this shelf is technically not a book at all. It's a sort of pamphlet or magazine that's filled with statistics of how women live around the world. The second one I've got is Reading the World by Anne Morgan. Then we've got Homegoing by Yagi Yasi, The Underground Railroad by Colson Whitehead, Stay With Me by Ayobami Adebayo, Little Nothing by Marisa Silver, American Street by Evie Savoy, Testosterone Rex by Cordelia Fine, A Whole Life by Robert C. Thaler, White Teeth by Sadie Smith, Eva Luna by Isabella Lende, The Grown Up by Gillian Flynn, The Sound of Things Falling by Juan Gabriel Vasquez, Fish Change Direction in Cold Weather by Pierre Salovsky, What Is Not Yours Is Not Yours by Helen Oyemi, and I kind of feel like I might have two editions of this book. Pachinko by Min Jin Lee, Tulip Fever by Deborah Mogak, The Perfect Nanny by Laila Slimani, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings by Maya Angelou, The Architect's Apprentice by Elif Shafak, A Place for Us by Fatima Farheen Mirza, I'll Be Gone in the Dark by Michelle McNamara, The Perfect Mother by Amy Malloy, I Let You Go by Claire McIntosh, The Cry of the Owl, Strangers on a Train, The Talented Mr. Ripley, and Deep Water, all by Patricia Highsmith, The Dry by Jane Harper, Lillian Boxfish Takes a Walk by Kathleen Rooney, Brave New World by Aldous Huxley, The Master and the Margarita by Mikhail Bulgakov, and lastly we have this wonderful edition of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. On the second to last shelf we have got The Cuckoo's Calling, The Silkworm, and Career of Evil, all by Robert Galbraith. Then we've got A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens and Pocket Book of Poetry in these matching editions. Blood and Beauty, The Birth of Venus, and Sacred Hearts, all by Sarah Dunant. The Knife of Never Letting Go, The Ask and the Answer, and Monsters of Men, all by Patrick Ness, and these are all books in the same series. Then we've got The Name of the Wind and The Wise Man's Fear, both by Patrick Rothfuss, 
And this is maybe my favourite fantasy series next to Game of Thrones. And I'm still impatiently waiting for the third book. We've also got the Mad Adam trilogy, so we've got Oryx and Crake, The Year of the Flood, and Mad Adam, all by Margaret Atwood. Then we've got How to Be a Victorian by Ruth Goodman, Sometimes a River Song by Avril Joy, Breeze from the River Manjira by Hima Makarla, The Dancing Girl and the Turtle by Karen Cow, Perfume by Patrick Suskind, Bridget Jones's Diary by Helen Fielding, The Bone People by Carrie Holm, The Bloody Chamber by Angela Carter, Notes on a Scandal by Zoe Heller, Delusions of Gender and a Mind of Its Own, both by Cordelia Fine, The Silk Roads by Peter Frankopin, Stolen Beauty by Laurie Lico Albanese, and then lastly, The North Water by Ian McGuire. On this last shelf I have to show you today, I've got another random assortment of books. So we've got some graphic novels, some classics, some fantasy series, and some books that just didn't fit anywhere else. The first book is this huge collected stories and poems by Edgar Allan Poe. We've also got these graphic novel versions of Murder in Mesopotamia and Murder on the Orient Express, both by Agatha Christie. I've also got this random assortment of different coloring books. Then we've got The Complete World of Greek Mythology by Richard Buxton, Compacts and Cosmetics, Beauty from Victorian Times to the Present Day by Madeleine Marsh, and the reason I have this is that I used it for a project I did for photography school. Then we have Collective Fairy Tales from Ospionson and Moo, The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay, all by Suzanne Collins, The Diviners, Lair of Dreams, and Before the Devil Breaks You, all by Liva Bray, and I absolutely love this series. Daughter of Smoke and Bone, Days of Blood and Starlight, Dreams of Gods and Monsters, all by Lainey Taylor, and this is another series that I absolutely adore. The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making, and The Girl Who Fell Beneath Fairyland and Led the Revels There. The Girl Who Soared Over Fairyland and Cut the Moon in Two, and The Boy Who Lost Fairyland, all by Catherine M. Valente. Through the Woods by Emily Carroll, Hark a Vagrant by Kate Beaton, the Sleeper and the Spindle by Neil Gaiman, The Phantom Atlas by Edward Brooke Hitching, The Fox and the Star by Coralie Bickford Smith. The last book on the shelf that I have to show you is Anne Dog Puyura, which translates to One Day on Earth. And this is a photography book filled with photographs all taken on the same day. And those were all the books I had to show you in this part. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>